Alright, let's do this one last time. My name is Dev, and I really love Spatanos. And today I'm here to teach you everything you need to know about the Spatana Wiper Deco. I'll be covering the gear, basics, how to play the weapon, and teach you some tips and tricks. Okay, what gear abilities do we run for the Spatana Wiper Deco? Well, for utility subs, which require 1 to 2 subs of these abilities, so these abilities are Quick Super Jump and Ink Resistance, which are essential for every build in my opinion. Super Jump helps you get back into battle quicker and Ink Resistance helps get out of an enemy easier. And for the other utility sub abilities, I recommend Sub Defense, Special Saver, Swing Speed, and Sub Power Up. Okay, abilities you can run are Special Charge Up and Quick Respawn. For Special Charge Up, this can help you get missiles faster thanks to Wiper's Great Paint. And Quick Respawn helps you get back into battle faster since you're most likely going to lose a lot of fights. Okay, for main abilities you can run Comeback, and if you've seen my previous Batana guides, then you know this one is essential, and it's Stealth Jump, which hides your jump marker when super jumping. This helps a lot since you're going to be going in and making aggressive plays, and you don't want your super jump marker being spotted and capped out. If you're wondering what I run, well, here you go. And here are some other examples of what you could run on Spatana Wiper Deco. Okay, now on to the basics. Spatana Wiper Deco is a lightweight Spatana that can fire fast projectiles of ink. As with every Spatana, this weapon has horizontal and vertical slashes. Horizontal slashes from a distance can do 30 damage, making this a 4 shot. This attack is very fast, but it takes a while to kill, so you have to strafe around these swings so you can get a kill thanks to its um, its speed. If you are closer to an opponent, a horizontal swing will do 45 damage, making this a 3 shot, which can be a bit useful when an opponent is way too close to you. Next, we got a charge slash, which has more range and does more damage. The vertical slash from a distance does 60 damage, making this a 2 shot. And for the vertical charge close up, does 120 damage, making this a 1 shot. Also, if you move the left stick forward and charge the Spatana, you'll lunge forward. This could be great to give yourself extra distance and can be a moving tool as well. How to play the weapon Spatana Wiper Deco is a weird weapon. It's a slayer weapon, but can also play supportive. And you could do so by giving the team squid beacons to jump to. And tenor missiles to move the enemy team and give the team an easier time making a push. I'll give more tips about the whole kit in a later segment. So when playing this weapon, you're going to be trying to hunt down many enemies and distract them from the objective so your teammates have an easier time completing the objective on all modes. And things you should be doing is striking to sneak up on an enemy and get an easy kill. Joining the fights and make it a 2v1 against an enemy, and you can do this by throwing slashes and using tenor missiles on an enemy to make a fight easier. Both Spatanas have insane object damage with the Spatana Wiper Deco having amazing object damage per second in the game. So when in a fight against the enemy team, you can help destroy Booyah Bombs, Crab Tanks, Wave Breakers, Splash Balls, and many more for your teammates. Okay, now for some tips and tricks. Straight for horizontal slashes. Thanks to Wiper Speed, you're able to dip in the ink and dip out, and throw a quick projectile and avoid and mess with your opponent. Okay, for Squid Beacon. Try to learn every stage layout and find good beacon spots. Things you should look for are corners, parts of your spawn, hard areas to get to and other enemy spawn sledges. Another tip is your teammates can use a beacon two times and the little dots on the map show if a beacon has been used once. Also you or if any of your teammates has a weapon with beacon then you can only use a beacon once. Use your map when placing a beacon and if an enemy is nearby you can see the location of them on the map. This can help let you and your teammates know not to jump. And this can also help find the enemy and get a kill on them. And one last thing is, Squid Beacon hides your jump marker entirely, unless it's destroyed. So this can give you free stealth jump if you don't have it equipped. Okay, now for Tenta Missiles. You use them. Fine, alright. Tenta Missiles is a global special that can lock to 5 enemies. I recommend using the special near your spawn to get as many enemies as possible. Use it on a special like Crab Tank, Booyah Bomb. Trizuka and many more. Use it to cheese the objective to move the enemy from the splat zone, to force people off the tower, to break the remaker barrier, and to make a push on clan blitz. Also, if you locate only one enemy, more missiles will lock onto them, which can be useful to get rid of a specific enemy that you need gone. Alright, no missiles. No more missiles. <sighs> Jumpy can help you win fights to avoid shots and mess with your opponent with your fast movement. 
When going for a critical hit, I recommend doing it when sharking and getting easy kill from behind. Or when an enemy is climbing a wall, when you're in a 1v1 fight and your opponent has a weapon with a slow kill time. And for sure do it when an opponent is super jumping. But beware of drop roller. It requires precise timing to get a kill when an opponent has drop roller equipped. Camping under ledges is so useful since the wiper vertical hits are very narrow. You can poke your opponent with slashes, and if your opponent gets too close to a ledge, you can get an easy kill. And that's all I got for Splatana Wiper Deco. Also, apologies for the long wait for the video. This video is a pain to make. <laughs> and before I go, Nintendo, give me Stamper Novo next season. Okay, thank you, bye.